In this video, I'm going to be addressing a common student problem, which is creating assemblies with the incorrect orientation and having to go back after the fact and reorient your assembly. So stick around and check it out. Welcome to Sketch Model Build, your go-to channel for SOLIDWORKS CAD instruction and making. Before we get started, I want to ask you for a quick favor. If you find this tutorial helpful, please take a moment to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more SOLIDWORKS content. By liking this video, you're helping us know what types of content you enjoy, and it also helps us reach more people who are interested in learning SOLIDWORKS. Subscribing to Sketch Model Build will ensure that you never miss a new tutorial, so be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Thanks for your support and let's get started with today's tutorial. So I had a student come to me with this particular assembly that they've been working on and they didn't really realize or set it up correctly at the beginning and it's coming back to bite them and you'll notice perhaps that the main reason that it's coming back to bite them is that their assembly is not at all oriented with the planes that are in the top level assembly. So in this video we're going to figure out how to fix that. Um, if you have a, a small assembly and you caught this early, it's actually a pretty easy fix. You're going to go over to your base model and or your base part. In this case it's this assembly, but it could be a file or a part for you. And you'll see this F right here. Um, that says that this is fixed, so you can't move it. I'm going to right click on this and say float which will allow it to move around in the assembly. Um, and you'll note that it's got that little hyphen right there. And if I click on this, I should be able to drag it around, but you'll notice that there was an error. So it's actually over defined right now. I'm gonna go down into my mates and let's suppress one of these gear mates because that's the problem apparently. And um, it now shows it as not being fully defined. So you can, see that if, if I go in here and do what we would normally do, which would be to just grab the two origins, so I'll grab the origin of the top level file and the origin of our sub-assembly, and I'm going to try mating those two together. Um, if I click that check mark, there's going to be all sorts of problems. Um, click check and you're going to see this thing break all over the place. Um, so we're going to get rid of that that mate that I just made, undo that, and let's see if we can fix this. So the way I'm going to approach fixing this is to, first of all, organize myself. So they've got a couple of sub-assemblies, but then the rest of this is very, very disorganized, um, and we can break it into sub-assemblies to make it more manageable. So I'll show you how to do that real quick. I'm going to hide this so I can get to one of these sub-assemblies. So this hour hand that hour hand right there and this sleeve and this gear are supposed to move together. So that's actually going to be a great sub assembly. So we'll right click on this, say form new sub assembly. And it'll create a new sub assembly. You can see this right there. And this is actually in, it lives within the top level assembly. So I'm going to right click and say um, rename assembly. And we'll call this hour hand assy. And now it still lives in the assembly, but it's got a new name. We're now going to make external. We're going to right click and say save assembly. Save only the sub assembly to an external file. Click yes. Click OK because it's just got the same uh, file path. You could change the path if you wanted to, but we're going to keep the same file path. Click OK. And so now this will change and it's showing a sub assembly. And if I open up my folder here, you'll see that it's got the full the, the hour hand assembly that's now been saved out. So that lives external to this assembly file. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this for all of the different things that move together. And then I'll come back and we'll have a uh, more organized state and we can try to fix it from there. So we're going to right click on this and say hide the component so that I can see what I'm working with. And then I'm just going to keep doing the same thing over. This one's a little bit different because this one lives in another sub-assembly and so I need to actually redo this one. We'll make this a, a sub-assembly. Since they all live in that sub-assembly, it, it works out okay, but it's going to make a new sub-assembly within another sub-assembly. See, it's right there. So I can click on this and just drag it on out. And it says, if virtual components are moved to another assembly, they will be renamed and the links to original components will be broken. We'll say, okay, that's fine with me for now. 
Um, and let's find where our new assembly is out here. Here it is. We're going to right click and say rename. And I'll call that mid gear um, train assy. And then we'll right click again, save assembly, and click OK. And again, hide it so that I can just keep track of what I'm doing. So I've gotten most of my sub-assemblies put together. I've got a couple of little parts here and there that are kind of hanging around. So I'm going to put those into the assemblies that make sense. And uh, for this particular one, it makes sense to actually put the hour hand and this gear with this, uh, this other assembly that we've got up here. So we're going to do that. Let's see here. Let's see if we can find them. This part, so we're just going to click it and drag it up into this assembly. And we're going to take the minute hand to drag it up there. And then let's click on this to make sure that we've got it all selected. Yep, we do. So now what we're going to do is we're going to try doing our reorientation. Things are going to break, but it's going to be easier for us to figure out what's wrong. So we're going to grab this, this structural assembly. That's this one. And we're going to grab its origin and the origin that we're working with here and click Mate. Ooh, and when we notice something, oh, it looks like that origin is way off, so we're going to have to fix that too. So we'll click check, check, and hey, it didn't break as bad, so I think as we were going through here and making sub-assemblies, some mates got deleted, so things are working out a little bit better. But you'll notice we still have a problem. We still have an issue where the origin is just way off here in the middle of nowhere. So we're going to go in, into this assembly, and we're going to right-click and I'm going to actually open this assembly, open this sub-assembly, right click, open sub-assembly, and let's see if we can fix that. So here's this part. Um, its origin is right there. Oh dear. Um, and it's, uh, and then here's the origin. Oh, it's way off there. So we're going to change some things here. First of all, I think it makes sense for our assembly to actually have the origin be at the center of this back circle. So we're actually going to change things in this part so that we can actually put our uh, our origin in this sub-assembly at that point. So I'm going to right-click and open this part. There we go. And um, we're going to do a couple of things. Um, Control 7 gets me to see how it's oriented right now. We, we want to orient it differently. We're going to create some reference geometry, create a point, and we're going to grab, um, I think it's this circle right here. We're going to grab this circle, click on that, and it'll give us the point right dead center. Click check. And then to make our lives easier, we're going to create ourselves a coordinate system. And we're going to use that point as the center. I'm going to grab this face to point the X direction in the way I want it. I'm going to grab this as the Y face to point the Y face going up. And then that forces the Z to go the direction that I want as well. So we'll click the check mark. And now we have a coordinate system that we can use. We'll click save and close out of this part. And now we're going to see that that coordinate system exists in our top level assembly. We'll right click and float this part. But now we're going to do a mate. We'll grab the origin and this coordinate system click mate and it will move and we've got a line axes clicked and we'll click the check mark and so now if I click control 7 it shows up isometric the way I want it to and we'll click check so we're, we're close to fixing our issue now if you wanted to you can actually go in here and kill that mate that we just made click right click and say delete and then just say okay now that I've oriented it where I want it fix it and that gets rid of the mate and everything set up the way you want to you don't have to do that but sometimes it's a way of getting you back to where you would have been if you had made it right the first time I should say click Save there and now when we go to this top level assembly I have a feeling some things are gonna break on us because we move some things around quite a lot but you'll notice hey actually it did pretty decently um, you'll notice that things are now Press, press control 7 where we need them to be and so what the task would be now would be to go through this assembly 
and check how things move, if they're moving the way that I want them to, what mates broke. Um, there's still some errors in the assembly, I know, but um, we've at least done what we set out to do, which was now get this oriented in such a way that you'll see that the front, top, and right plane go right down that main that main rod, which is where it needs to be in order to make the end contacts rope assembly. So that's everything. Hope that was helpful. And um, the way to really guard against doing this is just to set up your assembly right the first time. So when you first insert that new part, don't just grab the part and click it in, but click the right the green check mark up at the top. And you know what? I think I'll make another video just to show you how to set up your assembly right from the start.